In the previous video, I walked you through some key features and benefits of Subtitle Next. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can caption your videos using Subtitle Next. So for starters, I have my Subtitle Next open and uh, what I need to do here is I need to get uh, the video file that I want to work on and start captioning from scratch. So basically, I'll just need to navigate to the video section, click on video, open video, and then navigate to the folder that has the file that I need uh, to work on. So basically, the file that I need to work on is called how to automatically add timestamps or time codes to any transcript for free. So just click on this and click on open and you can check any other file formats that are supported here. Uh, so I'll just click on open and once I click on that I'll click on OK. So this will bring up uh, the setup for the media time code and I want the media position to start at 0 seconds, 0 microseconds, 0 everything. And uh, you can apply uh, the current video frame. Uh, the time code frame rate is 30 frames per second and the video frame rate is 30 FPS and uh, basically that's it. I'll just click on OK. So once you add your video, by default it doesn't show anything. So basically uh, what we have to do here is select uh, the kind of layout we need. We want the default layout and uh, since we can see our media is already uh, available here, what we need to do is we need to create a new subtitle. Now normally I'd expect that this should pop up automatically but it doesn't. So basically you just come to file and click on new. Once you click on new, uh, there are a couple of things that you'll get here. Uh, you'll get uh, to input the program title, the program episode, and basically this is structured in a way that it looks like you're working on a series or something. So the only thing that I think will change here is uh, the frame rate to match and correspond with our video. That is 30 FPS and click OK. Now once that is done, we have our file here and uh, by default you may not see some of the things that you're seeing here. So for example, you may not uh, see uh, the audio timeline, which is this section. So you could just come to the view and click on audio timeline and you'll see it here. And uh, sometimes you may see the spectrum. And uh, once the spectrum is there, it's, it's really hard to make out uh, what is happening here. So I prefer when uh, the spectrum is not available and I just have the waveform. So basically what we want to do here is just create and uh, caption this video. So I won't caption the whole video. I'll just work on uh, a small section. And uh, this is uh, subtitle one. You can see it here. Uh, so let's do this. So I'll just come here to this position on the waveform. And once I come here, I'll come to subtitles, insert at current time. So just select that. Now, once I select that, there's this thumbnail that appears. It shows uh, the length of that caption. Uh, so if you move it forward, you can see uh, the length that it takes. This is about six seconds uh, to the end. So you can just come and do maybe place the, your cursor there and click on play. Have you ever wanted to automatically add timestamps or time codes to any transcript for free? So if you just click on here, it's have you ever wanted to add timestamps or time codes to any transcript for free? So basically it's like a question. Now, if you'll notice something uh, is that uh, once I get to a, a, a character limit here of about 38, uh, it automatically jumps to the next line and there's a limit to the number of lines that have been set uh, in subtitle next to about two and you can always uh, navigate to the, the options and preferences so you can just check out uh, what happens here you can check out the frames the seconds the maximum lines of text that are allowed and uh, automatically it's set to auto split when it gets to the next number and the maximum characters per line 40 characters per line that includes uh, the, 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 the words or the letters and the spaces and the duration of the title should be a maximum of 10 seconds you can bring this down depending on what you want you can do if you have a client that requires characters per second you can do that so we'll just select OK 
And uh, if we play this section uh, with the preview, have you ever wanted to automatically add timestamps or time codes to any transcript for free? Now you can basically see a line that is following what you what you what you're up to. So we'll come to this section. You can just move this to this section, and then come here. And uh, let's say we want to insert another subtitle there. Just click on Insert at Current Time, and let's maybe pull pull this to this section, and then navigate back here and play. It is now possible to do that. And this goes like, it is now possible to do that. And uh, basically, you'll keep doing that until you get to the end of your media and working with that. So basically, that is how you create captions on this. And uh, this will not be complete uh, if I did not show you, for example, uh, let's say if I'm here and uh, let's say my caption file is here. If I had some, uh, if I wanted to highlight this, I'll just, uh, once you see the, the cursor hovering, just let it hover and hold shift and end on your keyboard. Then this will highlight that text and you can come and change some of these options so that you can have it uh, with some black background that is to stylize, to have it styled. So basically that's how it looks. And if you look at the first one, it's not styled in any way, uh, shape or form. And you can always change uh, the fonts and anything that you want to change for all these sections. So once you're done with your file, you'll just come to file and then click on export. And basically, let's say we wanted to export it as a subtitle file, let's say uh, as, uh, as an SRT file. Let's click on that and you can rename it whatever you want. Test file. And let's say I want it to go to this particular folder. Mm, test file. Save. So it will ask me what I want uh, it to save us. So basically the encoding is very, very important. And uh, mostly uh, if uh, you're not sure what this means, you can just uh, uh, look it up. But I will just want to, to save us uh, Unicode UTF-8. Do not include styling, ASS uh, alignment tags, just click OK. And basically uh, that's it. So if I navigate to to my computer, uh, to this particular um, uh, file, and I just double click this, uh, the text file, I already have uh, my caption file prepared to the section that I've prepared it. It also has uh, the bold styling uh, available, uh, depending on how uh, it's been set up. So basically, what I'm trying to say here is you can create captions using Subtitle Next very, very easily. The only key thing to note is uh, there's no way to reset some of these uh, things if you miss them out. Or first of all, the interface is a little bit intriguing if you don't know how to navigate through it. But it, what I've noticed is that you can work with it and it provides some of the best uh, features that I've ever seen in any captioning and subtitling software. If you're interested in learning how to caption videos, kindly check out the link below for a course to my captioning course Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in our next tutorial.